Hey, yeah. What's poppin', my people? It's your boy. Back at you with another video. This video here is for my 2K people. I'm sorry for dropping the ball last year. I was gonna post more 2K22 content, but it didn't happen. Oh well, 23 is here and I'm hoping to post more. What I have for y'all today is my current small forward build. This man can do it all. When I say I can do it all, I can play defense, I can play make, I can shoot, and I can take it to the rack. So look, listen, just copy down what I got here. We got a small forward, right hand, left hand, don't matter, number don't matter. We are six foot 10. 212 pounds with a seven foot two wingspan and our body's type is compact i know some of y'all might be thinking hey, why did you make your weight 212 pounds he's not gonna be that fast da, 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 da. listen i'm gonna show you why i did it here in a second hit continue and i want you to copy this down if you really want to make this build copy this down to the exact t i get 16 finishing badges 23 shooting badges, 17 playmaking badges, and 21 defensive badges. Don't forget, you get plus four on the badges. You can add to any one of your badges after you complete the quest. Let's start off with the finishing. Shot close, we got a 74, driving layup at 80, driving dunk at 85, and a standing dunk at 74. I had to put standing dunk 74 so I can get more finishing badges. Shooting. Shooting was very important to me because you got to be able to shoot, man. You got to be able to do it all, right? So we got an 80 midi, an 86 three-pointer. I could have did 85, but that one tick gave me an extra shooting badge. So why not? 85, you need an 85 to at least get limitless range silver. And I got an 81 free throw. I like to play rec, pro-am, all that other stuff. Playmaking. Pass accuracy at a 76. 81. Ball control. You see it at 610, 81 ball control. I think that's pretty good, honestly. I don't need that much. But the only thing is my speed with ball is pretty slow. It's a 71. If I bring my weight down, would it go up? Possibly. But like I said, I'm going to tell you why I got my weight so high here in a second. Defense. My interior defense is at a 76. Perimeter defense is at an 82, 77 steel, 87 block. 87 block offensive rebound at a 50 and a defensive rebound at an 80. Why do I have an 87 block? Because I play the paint sometimes. I'm 6'10". Why not? And for some of y'all who don't know, you need an 87 block to get silver anchor. Defensive anchor. I think that's what it's called. Let's check. Yeah, anchor. You need an 87 to get silver anchor. And anchor helps with increasing block shots you know and protecting the rim 76 interior helps out with the anchor i can guard bigs in the park i can guard bigs in whatever we need to play so like i said i told y'all i can do it all on this build last but not least is my physicals i know y'all probably thinking like dog your dude is slow he's not kid you not i get an 80 speed 76 acceleration 82 strength 80 vertical and a 95 stamina 82 strength this is where i want to talk to y'all about my weight being so high at an 82 strength i get silver bully let's look bully improves a player's ability to initiate contact and get to the rim on layup attempts if i'm going up against a smaller person and i can't get the contact dunk i'm gonna get a contact layup with silver bully all i need was an 82 strength to get it so why not put my strength up if i got these little guards that don't want to put their weight up all right that's easy i'm going to the bucket this is perfect for me i could have went to 89 but i decided not to and for those of y'all who are still thinking oh the speed and acceleration are still too low don't forget you get your plus four on all your physicals once you get the gym rat build so i'm gonna end up having 84 speed and an 80 acceleration and all the rest of my stats go up to plus four too but let's continue here are the takeovers that you can get. I'm going with extreme clamps and limitless range, but you get the shot creating takeovers, you get sharp shoot and take, you get perimeter like lockdown takeovers and things like that. And you get interior defender type takeovers. I forgot what they're called again. Let me know in the comment section. I might be lost. After all that, like I said, this is my build. This is how I like it. If you want to make some tweaks to it, cool. Make some tweaks to it. Here are the shades of what our player is going to be playing like. Edu Turkoglu, Jason Tatum, and Kevin Durant. What do we get? We get a three level score. Like who wouldn't want to be like Jason Tatum and KD and be able to shoot like Edu Turkoglu? It makes, come on, man. This is, this is, I'm giving y'all gold right here, man. Use it. If you do, let me know down in the comment section below. If you got a better build, 
and you think I should tweak my build up a little bit, let me know in the comment section too. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap that like button for your boy. I'm gonna try my best to come out with some more 2K content for y'all. If you got a friend that is having a hard time making a build and likes to do it all, send him this video. Send it to them, send it to them, send it to them. But all that being said, I hope y'all have a great rest of y'all day, evening, afternoon, week, and weekend. And I'll catch you on the next video. Deuces!